Hi, here we go. Green interwebs, it's Jackie K. And welcome to a very unique take on a first fruit. This is my first mobile game first fruit, commentary in general. Pretty much the first time using my phone for anything besides streaming. And man, it's been a hurdle. But I guess I should say that for when I actually start playing, because I'll admit, I've done the first two levels of this already. And I just thought it'd be best to start off from the beginning, because one, it won't be quite a blind experience until I get to like the third level or so, because I have seen reviews of this game before. And two, I'm not too happy <laughs> with how those recording sessions came out. But that's fine, that means that gives me a little bit more confidence that I could just redo this first episode over and over until I get everything just right. It's something that gives me the feeling that it won't be the case. But that's a horrible way to introduce myself. I am Jackie K. <laughs> We're gonna play Donut County today. This is my first playthrough of the game. I've seen bits and ends of this game in a lot of different places. It's made me pretty excited to actually try it out for myself. And I find this to be a good opportunity to do so. Can't I scroll my conversation or my thing of something else? While I finish my thoughts, I'm gonna duck. Cause I think this will be the only opportunity for me to do so. I wish my phone did this for text apps. Anyways, what was I saying? Yeah, first mobile playthrough. I may or may not be distracted by the ducks. So as I was saying... I've been excited about this game ever since I heard the reviews about it. And for some reason, when I saw it was on the mobile app store, I found this to be a perfect opportunity to actually do mobile apping. Yet for some reason, <laughs> I did not. I underestimated the hurdles that I would have to overcome to actually accomplish this sort of deal. So I've heard this game described to me as like Reverse Kanemaru Damashi, and I'm honestly thinking that's not the fairest assessment. Though I definitely see where they come from with such an assessment. You'll see when we get into the gameplay itself, but I consider it more puzzly than your typical Katamari Damashi game, but there's definitely a lot of elements to the point where I can say if you like Katamari Damashi, you will love this game. And I've only played the first few levels of it. I may or may not be trying to go for an achievement I heard about relating to the ducks texting. Possibly. Like, there's a reason why I call these first fruits and not blind LPs. <laughs> How many ducks will he do? How many ducks can we get before he replies with a duck? Anyways, I think, like, DJ Raccoon? His name, we'll see you again soon enough. He said he's bored, texting his friend, when you're coming to work. Apparently they work in the same place. And that's all the plot we got before I decided to go all duck. <laughs> uh, fine. It's not like I'm playing on something that would give let me save the trophy anyways. Quiet, BK. I'm dead. I've died. Please have some respect. Duck for respect. Lo, why are you dead? Dang, I had a good voice for him in the first playthrough. First recording session, and I forgot already. This guy I got down, though. The honky man woke me up again. It's just my voice, but tired. <laughs> At the honk of down. Honking? Unbelievable! Don't worry. I'll revenge you. Ducks for respect. Be careful, dude. This guy really honks. Yeah, whatever. Come to the donut shop. 
Now stop feeding your dog bread. He needs bread to live, BK. He's a certified loaf. Okay, I'm leaving in five minutes. Bye. This is kind of cool. I can, like, interact with stuff in the game just by touching. So what I think you do is t take this, slide it, open it up. Open up, and we got our opening sequence. Donut County. So here's a good tip if you're playing on mobile alongside me. Don't hold your finger right over the hole. Hold it like about an inch to the left or right. Otherwise, you're, if you have big fat fingers like me, you will cover up the hole and you won't see what you're doing. And it'll be a lot easier when you can see where the hole is and actually know what you're doing. So this is the basic concept of the game. You have this little hole. You take the hole, pull it underneath stuff, and that'll make the hole bigger and bigger. You can see the Kanamari Damashi parallels here. Once you get it big enough, you can get bigger things down here. This guy's... Oh, I actually got him first try! <laughs> Last time I had to actually, like, shake him around a bit to make him drop some stuff, pick up that stuff, and then I was able to get the Honkamon. Anyways, R.I.P. Honkamon. May he rest in pieces. Dude, the honking stop. Did you actually do something to the honking man? Come on, I gotta do this from his end. I think this will be the last time I can actually do the duck. So I gotta get it out of my way. Speaking of duck, hello dog. Excuse me while I address this issue. While we're here, can we take a moment to appreciate this pause screen? Actually, when I think more about it, this will make a lot more sense later, but man, just take into that background while we're in here. Alrighty, back to the plot. I've done solo gameplay as is. Give me a moment just to brace myself for the best voice. I have ever had, if I can possibly muster it. <sighs> yeah, don't worry about him. I delivered him a donut. Uh, okay. Hello? Well, I guess it distracted him. Hey, guess what? I'm level 9 now! Wow. Cool. Don't get it, Mira. It's all the rage. At level 10, I earned my quadcopter. Oh, right. Sick. Congrats. We're gonna buzz around like kings. <laughs> okay, see you soon, BK. Six weeks later. Everything goes down the pits. Literally. Mira! How? How could you smash my quadcopter? Who cares about your stupid quadcopter? How could you destroy the entire town? 909? feet below Donut County. I never destroyed anything! I'm kind! OMG. What? You used that stupid app to open up holes all over town. And now we're all stuck underground. Everything in here looks fine to me. Except my quadcopter! I'm the victim! Will someone back me up here? BK, it's obvious you did it. I got swallowed by a hole right after I ordered a donut from your shop. What does that have to do with Mira smashing my quadcopter? Potter, what happened to your son? Oh, pup. My sweet puppin' boy. He will still be up there somewhere. 
now he really gets into me this physics based game. Oh, I was wondering what that is. That's not the time of the game. That's my actual time. Like, that's military time for 8.57, which I'm recording this. And that's my battery life. Oh, wow, I feel stupid. <laughs> but hey, I guess I can say that I'm still learning new things. So yeah, just like before, we start out small and work our way up big. Not to jump the gun, but there's gonna be some... Oh, okay. I guess this is an example of how you can... There's a lot of physics actually involved in the game. I actually used my hole to knock that salt shaker or whatever it was off the box. And allowed me to get an object to make the hole a little bit bigger. And I did the same thing with that cow skull there that was in the case. Shook the case up a little bit. That allowed me to get the skull, which made my hole big enough to actually get the whole case. Nope, and I gotta remember my own device. My own advice of keep my finger away from the hole. Otherwise, it'll just be a bunch of bad times. <laughs> wow, I just noticed how much like the characters interact with the environment and all that. I'm getting my amusement out of it. Just a little concerned about it actually showing up in the commentary. So. I said it before, but I think now you can see in action about how this game's a little bit more slow paced than your typical Katamari Damashi game. Like, you normally are rushing around trying to find stuff to build up your Katamari as quickly as possible. This game, however, is more a little bit more about thinking, about like figuring out how to get the stuff down the hill. Come down here, little buddy! Need your need your little substances to actually be able to get the furniture that was right next to you. Oh uh, yeah. What a fabulous way to go. No care about you but the furniture. Let's see if I can get this wooden plank. But I think I just screwed that up. I'm, maybe if I come back for it after picking up all this other furniture though, it won't be too big of an issue. I can help it there at least. Oh, my death processions. My vision of death is betraying me there. It was up on that shelf there, that's why I couldn't get the darn thing. Alright, can I get this wooden plank now? There we go. That should be enough to get that, and that. Everything goes down to the big dark place that's surprisingly not full of fire in the ground in the sky. And remember when I mentioned how this game has some pretty nifty physics-based puzzles? Yeah, it's gonna be some pretty cool stuff. I'll just get the basics here. Can't do anything about this guy, because he's floating above the hole. Hmm. But we can pick up this fire pit. And now you notice my hole is all full of smoke right now. Yeah. We actually use stuff we pick up with our hole to interact with the environment. And this is only the beginning, I swear. I have seen bits and bits of the game... Oh my god. Excuse me and the dog. Unfortunately, we won't be able to put a dog in the hole. Man, if only we could solve all of life's problems just by stuffing everything down a hole. Come down here, little buddy. I mean, when I say little buddy, I mean really big pillar of rock. That's almost everything. Not quite everything. Wait, wait. Oh, I was forgetting that. <laughs> that was a little bit anticlimactic to end things off on. But yeah, we did it. We made a great delivery, got some experience, and are working our way up to the quadcopter. I mean, we're totally not doing anything related to the tragedies that the people of the civilian are going through currently. Another cool parallel from this to Kamari Damashi is all the items you pick up in this game have their own little descriptions. And there's some pretty amusing ones here. I don't want to go 
into all of them. I think it might be something that's better off to see on your own time, but I'll think of something fun to do with them. Like, maybe, like, slow stuff into the end slates of videos and that. I'll probably at least show you a sample of them, because I'm starting to think, like, this is a pretty nifty part of the game. Someone bought this sign in case you were thinking of buying it yourself. <laughs> There's quite a bit of clever writing in this game like that. Anyways, I think we are fine and ready to move on to the next level. Have a garbage day! See, and I went in off here, but... Let me at least get the levels that... I've already played on stream. So, he wanted to just surprise him with a donut and got something so much more. Poor pup, floating up in the sky, all nilly-willy. <laughs> no, he's not. If you got swallowed first, how do you know a pup is in a balloon? This story is full of holes. I mean, this everything's full of holes right now. <laughs> Your brain is full of holes, and so is the entire town, thanks to you. Case in point. <laughs> Wait, Pup is in a hot air balloon? I saw an air balloon float by my ranger station. You saw Pup? Which way is he heading? Eventually I'm gonna run out of voices. I'm not that special in my voice acting cavalier. <laughs> what is Helen's biggest weakness? Snakes. Fabulous thing for a park ranger to be afraid of, but I mean, we all have our weaknesses. And I'm sure that this fear of snakes is not going to come into play into the level whatsoever. It's not like we're going to be picking up a bunch of snakes right this very second. I mean, yeah, I mean, we pick up everything in this game, but why would snakes have any relevance into anything that goes on in the game? Stupid slivering stubborn head. Get in there. I know you wanna. You too. We're gonna do this poor park ranger a favor and eradicate all these darn snakes from this darn plane. Man, if you remember that meme, you are old. It's okay, I am old. We're all old. If only in the soul. Now, if I can get this guy without waking him up. Stop waking up the snake, sir! You're making my job of making your job easier by getting rid of your biggest fear that much harder. I mean, this is what you mean when you order a donut, right? Come on. Alright, that should be all of the snakes. And I think soon we're gonna get into the big puzzle, puzzle gimmick of this level. Come down here, little buddy. Aha! <laughs> now we're no longer a hole. We are now a snake. And we can do snake things like terrorize chickens. <laughs> and as we do so, we just freak this guy out so much more. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to have an easy time getting anything down this hole. While we have snake heads. <laughs> but we can just make everything so much worse. It's like it's our job or something. I don't know. What is the point of this game, like, anyways? Like, how does this donut shop come into existence? What does it lead to? Well, maybe we'll find out as we go on further. Alright, let me get rid of these snakes before they eat the chickens because we need to get everything the only thing that shall consume in here is i no i don't know what happened there why i was i did not do that sliding motion but i guess i'll take it and i love the fact that we're not just sucking everything up in the hole causing chaos in and of its own we're pretty much causing all sorts of chaos in just a simple process of dropping stuff into a hole 
And when we say we, I mean BK. I am not involved in this process whatsoever. <laughs> Great delivery. Anyways, I guess we're gonna have a trash day. And you know, this is where I left off the first time we try to record this. So we'll see if I pick up on anything else familiar in the next episode. Probably a good point to end things off here just to make sure that I don't go too long and end up with a file size so large that it just ends up messing up the whole thing. After all, I have a mission now to figure out how to get this from my phone to my computer without the issues from last time happening. <laughs> But if you're seeing this, then we're all good. Thank you all for tuning in, and hope to see you all for the next one of my first for you of Donut County. Take care. I'm pressing the button, what shall happen?